previous video I was testing out my sea kayak uh, for my Loch Lomond trip so today I am now in Loch Lomond we just arrived like a good a couple of hours ago just had a quick little drink to settle ourselves in now we just found a really good recce point uh, we've checked the weather it's supposed to be absolutely spot on well uh, roughly the highest it's gonna be about 20 degrees so it's gonna be quite warm very nice and clear and over sunny skies uh, I'm taking that with a pinch of salt so fingers crossed throughout the day also as well, it's going to be about a two mile an hour wind, so basically that's going to be a light breeze, so you won't even feel it, so honestly you couldn't have a perfect day. So the plan, we're going to be uh, kayaking the entire length of Loch Lomond, and Loch Lomond is the uh, largest lake in both uh, in the UK, so we're really looking forward to that, it's going to be a big challenge, about uh, just uh, about 39 kilometres, so that's about just shy off, uh, I think, what is it, 24 uh, miles? Uh, so I'm, it's going to be quite a challenge. It's also going to be a few islands we're going to try and explore. So we're going to start from north and head to south. And in south there's a few couple of islands that we're going to hopefully stop off at. Good morning, uh, it's currently half seven and so our aim was we're hopefully going to be setting off for about quarter past eight. Uh, we're supposed to have a nice uh, full English breakfast, well full Scottish breakfast sorry, uh, for about eight o'clock and then we're going to be setting off uh, to as far uh, north of uh, Loch Lomond as we can as then we're going to paddle down towards the south. Well, the journey of a thousand miles stands with, uh, starts with a single step. So I think for me, I'm definitely going to be needing a thousand paddles. <laughs> so, let's go. Up. Well, I'm finally out on the uh, water on Loch Lomond. I tell you honestly, guys, the views uh, as we were driving were absolutely incredible. I tried to get a couple of them, but it literally was like so quick it went and I couldn't really film it. But uh, it looked amazing, though. Really looking forward to it. The uh, water today is absolutely super, super calm. Uh, barely any breath of wind at all. Super, absolutely sunny. Perfect day for it. Looking forward to it. Just wait for everyone else to get on, which is just over there because they're taking their time. Some of them wish not to be filmed, so, but uh, they said they'll film a couple of stuff and they send it my way as well, so that should be cool. So hopefully get a couple of good shots. I think it's easy. All the way back there. Come on, lads, catch up. <laughs> I wasn't even trying either. So I'm roughly about a good quarter of the way around now. <laughs> I tell you what, honestly, it's been absolutely fantastic. Honestly, the views have been incredible so far. If you ever get the opportunity, I'd highly advise coming to Loch Lomond or even Scotland in general. I mean, I've been to Scotland once or twice doing like the three peaks and stuff and visiting Edinburgh and places like that, but I've never been to explore it properly. I would just say to my dad then, I have know the lakes like the back of my hand because I've been climbing there since I was a little, little kid. 
Uh, when I was working in Wales, I climbed Snowdonia and stuff like that, and Snowdon easily 15 times, so I know that like the back of my hand. But Scotland, yeah, I think that's the next venture. So I'll maybe have a, maybe have a bit of a series coming towards that. Sounds good. So the sun's beaming down, it's absolutely gorgeous. So just stopped in this little island here. Uh, well, I say little island, beach. And for like, <coughs> excuse me, about five, 10 minutes stop. Uh, get a bite to eat, a quick drink, stretch my legs, and then I can crack on. I tell you, it's been absolutely stunning today. I'll uh, show you a bit more shots of my view right now. We've uh, realised we've only done about just shy of, it, uh, of nine miles. Not too bad, but uh, that means we probably need to get a good shifty on. So I'm probably going to keep away from the camera for a bit, put it on charge and stuff like that. So, but absolutely glorious. Look at that. All this little beast myself. Just with a quick little swim, which I'll see now. Great, take a picture of it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, there's no monster. <laughs> yeah. It was quite chilly, but I honestly really needed it. It was very, very hot. So, I'm going to smash it out. Uh, when we do a next stop, uh, and I'll probably bring the camera up and show you a bit more stuff there. Right, catch you in a bit. Well, just had to get a little hat on, as uh, I was catching the sun a bit too much. In fact, I'll take it off. Uh, only about eight miles to go now. Just taking our final little breast stop. And we're gonna keep going and finally smash out. Hopefully try and get there for about five o'clock. So, see you soon. Well, after a lot of blood, sweat and toil, yeah, I'm finally only about 500 meters away from the end. We were saying then, you're not at the official end until you actually touch the edge of it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna make sure I get a good shot of that. Show you how far I am now. So if you see where that grey building is, that is where I'm aiming for. And over there, that's like an old aquarium. Well, I'll say old, it's an aquarium. And that's where we have to head. Right. Nearly there. Better start catching up. mile or 25 miles of Loch Lomond from north to south <sighs> absolutely awesome day definitely try to do that again one time unfortunately wasn't able to get to the island that I wanted to but hopefully that'll be it for another trip for another day <laughs> probably caught the Sun a bit too much so hopefully get some after someone to get back so I'll catch you a bit yeah, 